you're here either because you're embarking on a wonderful healthcare career or to simply enhance your knowledge. Whatever the reason is, basic and routinely used medical terminologies in this day and age are just not good to know but actually must to know. Hello and welcome to Lucid Medicine. I'm Dr. Rahul Joshi and in this video, I'm going to start off discussing how medical terms are formed or built. Let me jump into the presentation mode and take it from there. Hello and welcome to the presentation mode here in Lucid Medicine. Today we are going to see what are the medical terminologies but before that let us understand what is prefixes and suffixes especially in the medical context. Hope you guys are ready and on board to learn. I would suggest to pause the video anytime to relook at a particular section and take down notes if you want before proceeding further. Okay. Now let us understand that the fundamental unit of each medical word is the root. It establishes the basic meaning of the word and it is part to which modifying prefixes and suffixes are added. If you observe closely, most medical terms can be divided into parts which are roots forming the center, prefixes are those which are attached before the root and suffixes which are attached after. These three components ensure to maintain the same meaning whenever they appear. By learning these meanings, you can analyze, dissect and remember many words just like that. Now for example, you look at the table at the bottom of the slide where you have the root word and the meaning of it. So anyway you use cardi or cardia, it will always mean heart. Pulm will stand for pulmonology or study of the lungs and that is why we are indicating lungs. Nef or renal which means kidneys. Mile means marrow and sclera means heart. So for example you have the sclera of the eye which is the white portion which you see in your mirror. So that's a hard part of your eyeball and therefore it is always called as sclera or sclera which is derived from the root word. Prefix for numbers colors, directions, degrees and comparisons are very common in medical lingo while suffixes that indicate condition of medical specialties or resemblance and plural forms. We shall now see with some examples. Uh, these are commonly used prefixes and suffixes, prefixes uh, typically and their meanings. The first one here is uni which means one and the example is unicellular that is it is made up of one cell the organism is essentially made up of a single cell uh, you have this example as amoeba another one is uh, leuke meaning white in appearance leukocytes that are wbc's when multiply un uncontrollably leads to leukemia i will give you a moment to pause the video here so that you can go through the list here we are talking about the suffixes. Next up are the commonly used suffixes that is the attachments after the root word and their meanings. The words ending with O-S-I-S -S or osis meaning any condition of the root word. The word itis, I-T-I-S is the most common suffix for many diseases like arthritis, colitis, nephritis, hepatitis, rhinitis, sinitis, sinusitis, etc. I will give you a moment to pause the video so that you can go through the list but let us quickly understand that these are key medical specialties. Some of them are subjects in the medical domain or the branches of medicine. So for example, if I have to use uh, thrombosis, which is an example of osis as a suffix, what it essentially means that uh, the patient is having a blood clot in the vessel. When you talk about any condition or isis, it's psoriasis. So that's the skin condition. That's a skin disease and it causes red, itchy, scaly patches. When you talk about I-A-T-R-I-C-S, that's pediatrics or any sort of a medical specialty or geriatrics. You talk about pediatrics, you understand that we are talking about a branch of medicine which deals with children. When you talk about geriatrics, you know that you are talking about a branch of medicine with dealing with old people or people in their older age, right? And so on and so forth. You add anything after the root word that will give you the meaning of it. And it remains the same anywhere and everywhere you use it. 
so if you are talking about i c a l or a l and you have the root word surgery you add to that it becomes surgical which means pertaining to the branch of surgery i hope you got the flow you can pause the video now and go through the table the medical vocabulary is vast and learning it may seem like learning an entire vocabulary of a different language and since medicine is such an evolving field newer and newer terms are always added to it i hope you got a fair idea about the usage of prefixes and suffixes in the medical lingo in the next videos we shall learn more about the common medical terminology with respect to disease diagnosis and treatment thanks for watching this is lucid medicine reimagining medicine in a simpler way